I think there's a common fear, a common unspoken and unadmitted fear that a lot of people have when discerning God's will for their life. And that is, if I go God's way for my life, it's eventually going to be at odds with my way. God's interests for my life are going to be at odds with my interests. God's desires for my life are going to be at odds with my desires. And that's, that's a lie. When a person embraces God's way, their interests don't change as long as they're wholesome. Their desires don't get squashed. What sets that person on fire beforehand will set them on fire afterwards, after God's got a hold of them. A person will not feel as alive doing anything else than going God's way. That's the truth. In today's gospel, Jesus heals a blind man. And at the very end of it, he tells the blind man, go on your way. Emphasis on your. But then the gospel does something strange. Right after it says, and then the blind man followed Jesus on his way. So which is it? Did the blind man go Jesus' way or did he go his own way? The answer is both. When a person embraces God's will or God's way for themselves, like I said, they will not feel as alive doing anything else. So my prayer for all of you who are perhaps discerning what God is asking of you is that he may dispel from your heart any fear that going his way, God's way, is going to somehow be at odds with your desires, with your interests, with your passions, with whatever sets you on fire. As St. Catherine of Siena once said, I think it was, maybe it was St. Ignatius of uh, Antioch, or I forget which one, but anyways, one of the saints said, <clears throat> when you are who God created you to be, you will set the world on fire. And if I could add just one more thing to that quote, if I did, I would have it say, when a person is who God created them to be, they will set themselves and the world on fire.